We're back, Coach Cunt part four. Today's episode, we scoured the depths of YouTube, didn't have to look very hard, Boom. to find this moron. This is gonna be a gold mine, this channel. If you haven't seen the others, go back and watch them, one, two, three, obviously. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe if you like what you see, and comment below if you've got anyone you think we need to take a look at. Oh, please do. On the internet. Here we go. <laughs> right then. Oh, I like this one. Oh, oh, we watched this a good couple of couple of times, didn't we, mate? So I mean, he starts off. Uh, it's all rambles. It's all it's all rambles. He's borderline illiterate. The whole thing about his YouTube video is how best to maximise muscle gain. So every little detail covered. Yeah. All of it, bro. He starts off talking about his nutrition. He, he sort of picks up his phone for half of it and uh, tries reading it. He even explains the fact that I've tried to say this out a few times, but I keep getting it wrong, so I'm just going to have to read it. If you don't know it, mate, don't say it. He starts off by saying he has um, 200 grams of his 600 grams a day um, post-workout. Why? Because there's a higher demand for it. Higher demand for it? Yeah, because straight away after you work out, you need carbs. That's when you need carbs, when you've finished. Yeah, when you've got no more work to do. Yeah. That's when you need, that's when you need energy, surely. There is a higher demand for it, I suppose, isn't there? You Definitely know. 200 grams worth as well. Oh, 100%. That's 800 calories. Yeah. That's 800 calories. You've definitely expended 800 calories during yeah. the training. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. No. Not only that, but he continues to explain that he's taking uh, cyclic dextrin into workout. Of course he is, of course he so is. So not only does yeah. he need to replenish 200 grams that he's they shuffled through, also he must have gone through all the cyclic dextrin that he's yeah. using as well. The guy's a machine. I mean 260 grams of carbs in what, about an hour, space of an hour. You definitely do need that. Do you know what's fucking funny about this? Is that there's so many comments in the comment section going, <laughs> Crazy knowledge, bro. It is, it is crazy. It's <laughs> fucking crazy. That's the right word to describe yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, he takes all that out on training. It doesn't need any of that. But what that. he does do is he replenishes it with fat. Ah. Because you still don't want to drop those calories. No, you no. still. But no. you, it is essential to take them away from carbs and put them in as fat um, because uh, he is doing 30 minutes of cardio on those days, and he knows that Iron Men use high fat in their diet. <laughs> Oh yeah, because I remember, because last time I checked, 30 minutes is the same as 30 hours. It is hours. comparable. So he then talks about protein. I, I like to have six to seven feedings a day. Six to seven feedings a day. But what the research suggests is that serving should be between three to five hours. So let's say he's going for a higher frequency approach, so every three hours, and he's having seven feedings a day. When are you sleeping then, mate? Huh? Yeah. When, are you, when are you sleeping? How much sleep does he get in the night, did he say? Nine hours. How many hours are there in a day? He then goes on to say he needs to keep topping up his protein. Topping up his protein like it's his fucking phone balance. Yeah. No yeah. one's space again. Like, I need on. to keep topping it up. What no, do you mean don't. topping it up? Like we know that that's not how it works. Where, when you're talking about stimulating MPS, you need a re what's called a refractory period for that to drop below a threshold to then spike it again. Actually topping it up can be considered as being worse. Yeah, that's hashtag science for you then, mate. That's fucking... Oh, no, he doesn't, but, oh, you don't care about that. Yeah. He then goes on to talk about how he splits his meals up. See, he likes to have his protein and carbs, but he likes to have a minimum of 10 grams of fat to... Uh, let me just direct quote this. I like to have a little bit of fat to take the edge off, calm you down, smooth you off. Smooth you off? Smooth you off? Was he in a fucking brothel? <laughs> yeah. like, what would you like fuck? smoothing off, sir? I'd like to have some fats with it to smooth me off and calm me down. Yeah. What do you mean, mate? What do you mean? I mean, you know when someone's really anxious, the best thing to do is to feed them butter. Like, it's, it's just what no. What do you it's mean? Just smooth no. you off? <laughs> what? It doesn't make any sense. It's just to smooth off the high. You don't want to get too high. You don't want to get too high. high. You can't have fats post-workout, you can't. Post -workout, no. you Those says. 200 grams of carbs post-workout, you don't need to smooth them off They've there. got to be, yeah. I'll tell you what, mate, don't have 200 fucking grams of carbs after, after you work out. <laughs> no, yeah. You don't need to smooth them off then, will you? <laughs> Ridiculous. Maybe he likes getting smoothed off. Ridiculous. Who doesn't like getting yeah. smoothed off yeah, though, mate? Yeah, to be fair. I, love, I can't remember the last time I got smoothed off. I can't remember. Fucking hell, I'm sure he's great. <laughs> Next one. But you can't have too many fats and too many carbs. What? You can't oh, have too, smooth. too many. You get too smooth. <laughs> hell. Too smooth, oh, mate. Too smooth, You've got to be a little bit rough. Yeah. So you can't have too many fats and no. too many carbs because yeah. You're fighting for which energy source you're going to use. Fighting. fighting. Your body's fighting. Your no, body mate, it just uses both. No, we, we need to use fats. No, no, we need to use Shut fats. Up. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> what is he talking about? This is not physiologically correct. So, oh God, I have very little, more than one single ingredient food, very little. Because if you have multiple meal foods, 
with a long list of, uh, of ingredients, that shit will kill you. Huh? That shit will kill you. Will it? Will it? Wait, what? Killed by coma? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm in a coma. <laughs> I'm in a coma. <laughs> oh, I'm in a coma. Oh, I'm in a coma. <laughs> I didn't even plan that. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> died from a ready meal. <laughs> like, no one died from a ready meal. Chamber. Thousands of years ago, so we didn't eat that shit. I think he means millions. I think he's yeah. referring to back when we were cavemen. Yeah, That's thousands. He's got no concept that. of time. We're not built to run on artificial sweeteners, e-numbers and sugar. Uh, what, hang on a minute. What are you using, mate? Hang on a minute. You take um, branch chain signal dextrin, which is which is sugar, and has sweeteners in it. Yep. And a whey protein isolate, whey protein. with sweeteners in it. BCAAs. And BCAAs that are sweeteners. Sweeteners. And they're not. We're not built to and, and, and we definitely didn't eat them thousands of years ago, or millions, but yeah. thousands. I'll use your term, thousands. <laughs> we definitely didn't have them then either. So they were right, though. Unbelievable. Again, unbelievable. But the thing is, is that I don't think he realizes that he's no, contradicting himself. No, he doesn't. I think he's, he's stupid not, he's enough, not smart enough no. to be like, he doesn't know that he, what he's actually eating and drinking and taking uh, is all of these things he's saying, that shit will kill you. You're doing it in abundance, mate. Why do people bang on about, we weren't doing that shit before? We weren't doing a lot of shit before. We didn't have the internet before. That's like saying the internet's gonna kill you. Like, <laughs> well, do you know what I mean? Probably might be. Yeah, too much wanking, mate. Yeah, exactly. It's all porn, innit? Yep. Yep. I don't know. We're not been on it. Light a fire. The yeah. fucking speed I get. <laughs> What's the smoke coming from, Mike? <laughs> Never you mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not burning flesh. <laughs> Let your penis again. <laughs> I, can, I can smell chipolata. <laughs> he then talks about his uh, supplement use oh. and. Uh, Again, didn't have supplements thousands of years ago, but well, it doesn't matter when it's supplements. Of supplements are different. So he got, talks about CBD oil because he says he takes the edge off. Smooth off. Mate. That's different. <laughs> yeah, just have some fat, mate. Where's your fat, then, mate? Just have a spoonful of butter, mate. I'll have some fat, mate. Same thing. How, how, what, to take the edge off. How many edges has he got? He's, what he's, is it? What's up with him? <laughs> he's hexagon. What? Yeah. What's up with him? Dodecahedron. Like, what the fuck? How many edges have you got? You went smoothing off with your fat, you need calming down, you need the fucking edge taking off. Fucking hell, what's up with him? A GDA is going to help me use those carbohydrates and not have them sitting around and come out as waste. Sitting around? I mean, again, he doesn't understand carbohydrate metabolism and how it's digested. I'll help him out here. But basically, if you do take a GDA, it only helps you once the carbs are in your bloodstream. Yeah. Um, so the wasting bit means they're not digested. So a GDA was not going to help in the slightest with that. No. Don't tell the people to do it if you don't know how they work. Yeah. But I do, I do not take it post-workout because we want that natural ability to dis to dispose of glucose. The natural ability, sure. Because you want, I want my body to do it. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? If your body can do it, which is what essentially what you're saying, I don't take it then because I want my body to do it. So if your body is capable of doing it, why take it at all then? Anyway, mate, let's cut this video because I need you to smooth me off in a minute. Um, so hard, mate, I need yeah. smoothing off right now. Looks like your hairdresser's fucking smoothed you off, I'm mate. I'm getting a bit too edgy. We're going to go smooth off. Catch us next week for Coach Cub Part 5. This is endless, mate. If you like this, like Dan said at the start of the video, Remember to please just give us a like or a subscribe. Do you or know what we love is share us around and smooth off your mates with it. Yeah, hundred percent. Share us around. We just want to be passed around like a cheap fucking whore.